Hey, welcome back to YT Finance, and today we are discussing Nano Dimension acquisition news and NNDM stock news. I will be breaking down and addressing a very bearish article about Nano Dimension and NNDM stock because I think it is good to talk about the good and the bad of every stock, including Nano Dimension, so we all can have a good understanding of the pros and cons of Nano Dimension as a company and what this means for NNDM stock. Like this video right now if you think Nano Dimension stock will increase in the long run. Comment down below why you own Nano Dimension stock and remember to subscribe to the channel for more NNDM stock updates. As always, there are deals to get free stocks, Bitcoin, and other cryptocurrencies that are linked in the description box down below, but my two favorite opportunities are the 100% free stock you get with Robinhood and the two stocks you can get with Weeble, where you get one stock for making an account and you can get a second free stock, which could be worth up to $1,600 if you deposit $100 or more into the investment account. So go check those offers out to see which ones you like and let's get into our first Nano Dimension stock article. Nano Dimension already has Needham as an advisor, but now Nano Dimension has included Carl Square in addition to Needham to advise Nano Dimension on its future acquisitions in Europe. Originally, Nano Dimension was looking for companies to purchase in the United States, but now with Carl Square advising Nano Dimension, their merger and acquisition objectives have slightly changed. Just listen to what the president and CEO of Nano Dimension has to say, and I quote, Our merger and acquisition search over the last two quarters has evolved. As we have expanded its geographical footprint, we are now focusing on two kinds of acquisition targets. One will dramatically expand our go-to market channels and give us exposure to vertical markets, while the other targets include a set of companies that have transformative technologies and products which are complementary to our product's roadmap. The present ubiquity of special purpose public acquisition vehicles, especially in the United States market, is causing price surges of certain targets. Hence, we are using the opportunity to filter out valuations that don't fit our business model. Since we have strong cash reserves, we are accelerating our technology and product development forward beyond the plans of mid-2020. I am confident that with the help of our investment banking partners, we will expedite the merger and acquisition process to synergistically support our growth plans. Basically, Nano Dimension is speeding up the acquisition process by moving its focus more towards European companies rather than focusing on companies solely that are in the United States. However, we still do not know when these acquisitions will take place or with which companies Nano Dimension is looking at right now, but I will keep you all updated. Now let's talk about the very bearish article about Nano Dimension that I will be addressing right now. The article starts off by saying that because Nano Dimension went public through a reverse merger, that is often a red flag. Now I find this somewhat of a hasty generalization fallacy because clearly we have many great SPAC companies. However, their next point is something to take into consideration, which is in 2018, Nano Dimension's co-chairman of the board of directors and two others were arrested on suspicion of money laundering, fraud, and securities offenses. This article is already highly misleading because the allegations were not even about Nano Dimension, but it was actually involving another company named Short Trade in which Nano Dimension's co-chairman was involved in. However, in the end, he was released and served no time in prison. I will link that story below. The article goes on to say that Nano Dimension has only sold 60 machines in multiple years, and to that I say, yes, they have. But who did they sell it to is what I like. These machines were sold to multi-billion dollar blue chip, defense contractors, labs, and educational institutions, which will lead to Nano Dimension making very wealthy and powerful connections within the industry. The article goes on to say that Nano Dimension is diluting their share price rapidly with stock offerings, which I 100% agree with them on that. But this is extremely common for companies like Nano Dimension. It is quite normal for a company to conduct a multitude of stock offerings during their growth phase, especially because Nano Dimension is building capital for an acquisition merger, which they have already raised over $1 billion for. 
Then the article mentions how all of this investor hype and stock momentum that NNDM is having right now is dangerous, and I agree with them to a certain point. But in my last video, I addressed how momentum can build price strength and how it could very well benefit NNDM stock in the long run. Next, the article downplays Nano Dimension's revenues, which I do not see why, because in 2016, Nano Dimension made $46,000 in revenue, which then jumped up tremendously to over $7 million by 2019. Then it went back down to just under $2 million in 2020, which was clearly because of the illness that shook the world. But I do think that they make a good point, because Nano Dimension's market cap is over $2.5 billion when they have only generated around 15 million dollars worth of revenues. But then again, if we look at Nano Dimension's market and their future growth potential, it is clear that investors want to get in early just in case NNDM lives up to the promises. The article attributes NNDM's stock price and most of Nano Dimension's success due to what they call the ARC effect, which means that if ARC picks a stock, then everyone rushes in to buy that stock, thus inflating the stock price. I would think that this would actually work against their point slightly, because if ARC Invest does see potential in Nano Dimension stock, then they are fundamentally calling ARC out and saying that Kathy Wood is blatantly wrong, which is definitely possible. But I still think more research is needed on NNDM stock to make such a definitive statement. Plus, ARK is made up of more than just Kathy Wood, so are all of those other investors wrong as well? Even if worse comes to worse, ARK could sell Nano Dimension if they ever changed their mind. But that has only happened when ARK ETFs have been rebalanced, but periodically ARK has actually bought into more NNDM stock. I also enjoy how the entire article is pretty negative about NNDM stock, with only a dwindling number of actual good points, but right before the conclusion, the author says that they are actually rooting for all of the Nano Dimension stockholders, which makes no sense after reading a whole article that indirectly is calling all of the NNDM stockholders mentally incapable of making wise investing decisions on their own. Even with that said, you should take what they have stated in this article into consideration. Just take it with a grain of salt from both sides, positive or negative, bullish or bearish. I do not endorse investing loads of money into a risky speculative stock like NNDM while you hope that it goes to the moon. Just like I do not endorse being hypercritical of every action that management makes and calling people names who invest in NNDM stock which just shows a huge lack of maturity. This is why on my channel I try to present both bearish and bullish points about stocks so you can make wise investing decisions for yourself. To be fully transparent, I do not own any NNDM shares directly, I only own NNDM stock through ETFs like ARKQ and ARKW. Remember to like this video right now for NNDM stock, comment down below your thoughts, subscribe if you're new, and I will see you in the next YT video.